there is a betting strategy that theoretically guarantees you beat the casino. This strategy will ensure you win almost 98% of the time. Now I've been noticing a rapidly growing amount of people learning and using this strategy and they're all losing their money because it doesn't work. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly what that strategy is and why although it is mathematically sound, in practice, it's complete garbage. So don't fall victim to it and lose all your money. Just before we jump in guys, do me a huge favor and like the video so YouTube realizes that I'm for real. I'm for real. Those of you who liked and subscribed, you guys are awesome. Thank you. It really means a lot to me. And for those of you who haven't, when I catch you. <laughs> Alright, Rubet is an online casino that has been growing in popularity over recent months. However, not exclusive to Rubet is a new batch of individuals who believe they can leverage specific betting strategies that can beat the casino. Rubet or any casino really, online or otherwise. Now, if I was trying to finesse people out of their money, I could claim that this strategy is mathematically proven to win 97.87% of the time with no effort or expertise required. And it would require as little as $630 in order to generate a profit. But although that is technically correct, it's widely misleading. And I see it all the time. All right, let's jump in. First, you need to find a table game that allows you to up your stake or your bet in the chance that you lose. No flat betting. For this hypothetical situation and consistent with the winning percentages provided earlier, we will use the game of roulette. Now, without going heavy into detail on what roulette is exactly, from a high level standpoint, it's a wheel decorated with numbers ranging from 1 to 36 with one or two green zeros. One if it's European roulette and two if it's American roulette. This wheel is then spun by the dealer in one direction while a ball is spun in the opposite direction. Up until, of course, the ball loses enough velocity that it will hit one of the diamonds on the track and fall onto a number. Now, bettors can wager on where the ball might land, with payouts increasing the more risky and specific your wagers are. For example, betting on a number versus a set of numbers. Now outside the green zeros, the numbers on the wheel alternate between black and red. There are 18 black numbers and 18 red numbers. Betting on a color means that if the ball falls into the corresponding number with your color, you win one to one. In other words, if you risk $20, you win $20 profit. You lose, however, if the ball in that scenario lands on red or green. Now this will be the focal point of our strategy. Now in essence, the betting strategy used is to double your bet every time a loss is incurred, up until of course you win, at which point you reset and start from the beginning again. This is known as the Martingale strategy. Now for roulette, assuming you're playing American roulette with two green zeros, if we wager $10 on red, we have a 47.37% chance of winning. If the ball lands on black or green, we double our bet on the very next play. So for the next spin, we would wager $20 on red, doubling our initial stake of $10. Now we would not change the color and consistently re-bet on the very same color as that color is now due. If we lose again, we double the existing bet on the very next spin, which would be $40. And we keep doing this until we win. Once the ball lands on red, if we consistently doubled our bet every single time, the winning amount will not only recoup all the previous losses that we incurred, but it also encompasses a profit of the initial bet we made. In this scenario, $10. Now let's take a look at some numbers. Okay. If we have a 47.37% chance of winning, that means we have a 52.63% chance of losing. Money add then multiply. Losing two spins in a row is 52.63% times 52.63%, which is 27.7%. Losing three spins in a row is 52.63% times 52.63% times 52.63%, which is 14.58%. Four spins is 52.63 to the power of four, five is to the power of five, six is to the power of six. This means that mathematically speaking, the odds of you losing six spins in a row is 2.13%, meaning the odds of you winning would increase with each subsequent loss. And by the sixth spin, the odds of you winning would be 97.87%. Now let's look at bankroll. In order to last six spins in a row and continuously double your bet, you would need $10 for the first bet, 20 for the second, 40 for the third, 80 for the fourth, 160 for the fifth, 320 for the sixth, which is a total sum of $630. And every time you win, you restart the process and start again from 10. Again, mathematically speaking, the Martingale system is bulletproof, but it doesn't work. The Martingale system works in theory, but it makes one major assumption that causes it to fail in practice. It assumes an individual can double their bet in perpetuity. So Check I this out. First of all, you throwing too many big words at me. 
In other words, an individual can continuously double and double and double their bet forever. In reality, this is not possible for two reasons. Number one, casinos have table limits. Once you reach the table limit, you can no longer up your stake. Doubling isn't allowed. Number two, the Martingale system assumes you have infinite bankroll, so that even if table limits didn't exist, you would need an endless amount of money. Now extending our hypothetical, what if you lose 10 spins in a row? Well, by the 10th spin, you would need to wager $5,120 just to recoup all your losses. That means that you would need a grand total sum of $10,230. Now at this point you might be thinking, okay, fair, but like you said, the odds of that happening get lower and lower. Not really. Psych! The odds of that occurring in a sequence get lower and lower, however the roulette wheel has no memory. It doesn't know or care that the previous spin was black, therefore the next one should be red. These lower odds that we witness reflect the likelihood of a color occurring over a set of multiple spins. But in roulette, you can't bet on sets of spins. You can only bet on each individual spin. In other words, you can't wager $10 that within the next 10 spins, there is going to be at least one red color amongst all black colors. You can only bet on each individual spin. Every spin of the wheel is a completely individual event. The odds of you losing are 52.63% every single time. In the long run, the law of large numbers takes over. So if there were no table limits and you had infinite bankroll, yeah, sure, go ahead, knock yourself out. Otherwise, you will lose a lot of money. Also, anyone who is familiar with roulette and is actually a seasoned player would be able to tell you that seeing a color occur seven or eight times in a row is extremely common. Rather, seeing anything that is the same, whether it's an even number or an odd number or within a certain set, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Having that occur multiple times in a row is very, very likely. Every event is independent and carries the same amount of odds. To believe that past events will influence future events is also known as the gambler's fallacy. In 1913, a casino in Monte Carlo saw black occur 26 times in a row. People lost millions and millions of dollars betting on red. Trying to use betting strategies in order to beat the casino is completely useless. It doesn't matter if it's roulette or baccarat or craps or blackjack doesn't matter the martingale system yields a significant amount of losses the only true way to beat a casino is by leveraging knowledge and experience in games of skill such as poker or sports betting counting cards and blackjack is also another way you can beat the casino as it does give you an edge but they'll quickly realize what you're doing and they'll just ban you it's not hard to spot a card counter you don't even need to know how to count cards in order to spot a card counter i specialize in leveraging capital to take advantage of market inefficiencies and arbitrage opportunities, all while trying to maintain an edge. This of course occurs in public betting markets. I did a video where I turned 200 into 2700 by employing these strategies, highlighting my thought process and trying to provide some insight. It's not so much the money as it is the rate of return. I definitely recommend you guys check that out as I do believe you will get some insight out of it. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Guys, as always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. It really helps my channel out a bunch when you guys do so. Thank you for watching to the next one.